everybody and uh, welcome to the Genesis Modelcraft uh, bench again and today we're going to have a quick little look, little inbox of this. This is the ICM 132nd scale Fiat CR32 and this is the Luftwaffe version as you can see from the box art and this isn't really the box. ICM have this uh, strange tradition where you have a flimsy little box top, like such, which is slipped onto the top of a much sturdier, ordinary cardboard box, usually a flip top box like this. I'll take that out of the way, because that's quite blinding, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look what we get in the box. And the first thing I see, I've already taken the plastic bags off, is this. What a fabulous idea. If your dog eats any of your model, you don't need to lock him in his, in his crate because ICM will replace everything for you. Isn't that great? Fabulous idea, really, really like this. So this little leaflet was in the box showing you the Facebook page address and the website address. So any problems, just give them an email. I love that. So if we then move on to the instructions, let's get the decals out of the way. It's an A4 booklet, nice. Quite thin, but nice quality glossy paper. Got your colour call outs on the front, a little bit of history as you'd expect. Full page parts location diagrams. The um, the numbers are actually on the sprue, so this is slightly irrelevant. But the only thing we got here might not for use. Is those few parts there. And then running through, it's very, as you can see here, these are very, very clear, really nicely laid out, really nicely printed. Shouldn't be any problem with that. It shows you very clearly where decals are going to go in there. And it's all conventional construction throughout. Looks like this is going to be quite a nice engine by the time it's put together. Quite a lot of stages pertaining to that. And then we get to the wings, adding the wings. We've got these little comedy lower wings, which are just stubs really they're very very small and then a big full span upper wing a lot of struts not too much rigging so this is quite ideal for those that think biplanes might be a little bit interesting but don't really fancy rigging there is a rigging diagram at the end here uh the red dotted lines it, it basically amounts to control surface cables and a bit of cross bracing on the struts and that's it so nice and easy. And this is the reason I I bought this kit, honestly, is this paint scheme. I don't know if it's uh, accurate, authentic, whatever, however you want to put it. But just look at it. It's brilliant. Um, I am very much a fan of airbrushing. I love airbrushing. Uh, I like doing complicated, weird paint jobs using the airbrush. I don't really like masking a lot, honestly. So this kind of thing is right up my street so yeah very very interesting paint job it appears to be the original italian style scheme of a sand model over green uh with a pale blue undersurface it's then been partially over painted and then remodeled maybe but with a mottled undersurface too which is a nice touch the other scheme is a little bit more conventional there's a sand and green over a pale grey and it's also a nice scheme, honestly, but uh, clearly that's the one I, I shall be going for. I should mention, in fact, before going any further, this this the reason that I purchased this model is uh, for a holiday build uh, over the Christmas holidays, which for me start next Monday. Uh, my plan is to, to build this uh, ICM Fiat in its entirety across that period and it probably won't take the full the full time to be honest i got the kit from modelsforsale.com i paid 39 pounds 50 for it so for those of you who insist that reviews have no uh credence unless the review has paid for the kit there you go i have 39.50 i paid for it the rrp is 43.99 here's the decal sheet very very simple <laughs> really not a lot to that at all some national markings serials some instrument panel um, uh, dials and that's it 
most of this I believe I think I will probably remake myself and do spray spray out spray masks put out myself using this as a template uh, ICM decals in my experience are actually actually really really good the last ICM kit I built was the 30 second scale i16 type 24 um, which is one of their initial 130 second releases they seem to be going through a a phase where they're they're chucking out these kind of slightly odd early war and interwar subjects in 30 second scale uh, this is just one of the latest ones so there's your decal sheet as you can see really hopefully maybe very very thin glossy perfectly re in register very very well printed nice and dense there won't be any issues with those i can assure you so on to the actual plastic First part I'll look at is your fuselage halves. Now, all of all my experience any time fairly recently of ICM kits has been nothing but positive. The and the moulding as these look on the sprue, these these are doing nothing to to disincline me to think that these are a good a good manufacturer. The moulders here they're so sharp, they're so crisp. There's a nice satin matte finish to them, but they're not rough. There's not a texture there, a micro texture maybe, but they're very smooth and yet not glossy. With beautiful, crisp, clean, thin panel line detail, they, they're just lovely. Uh, we have sort of recessed circle detail to represent the fasteners around the engine cowlings. And there's a bit of rudimentary sort of stringer detail on the inside there and you can see because my hand is also in the picture this isn't a stupidly big model I think 132 is a really good scale for this kind of subject it's because the models you end up with aren't so big that you you can't do anything with them you know so there's your fuselage halves really nicely done you've got your wheels there as well which although they appear basic from there there's a nice little fin detail on the hubs and and, and they look adequate honestly for the task like that. Next up, box has closed itself. Got two sprues the same here, covering armament, exhaust, and undercarriage parts. Now this Luftwaffe version is supposedly a ground attack, so it carries these tiny bombs, uh, and because of that, also has a, a not a non-spatted undercarriage. The spats have been removed, hence why we have these slightly different undercarriage legs here. Now, obviously, we don't need four legs, but we do need four bombs, and I've, and I see I've chosen to just give us two whole sprues there rather than making them up separately. Here we have different undercarriage forks again. Propeller, engine parts here are the parts that we won't be using which is uh, looks to be for a tropical filter or some such for the engine again there is a little bit of flash here and there but it's so fine and so subtle it will be the work of literally seconds to get rid of it a little a tiny scrape with your knife or a little tickle with a sanding stick or sponge and it'll be gone they're so crisp the moldings they're not this isn't Tamiya, okay? The parts aren't necessarily super, super mega detailed and all crammed with all kinds of amazingness. But what you do get is beautifully moulded. It's simple, but it's very, very nicely done. I'm sounding like a fan. I, I'm not going to apologise. I am, actually. I think, uh, I think ICM do some really nice stuff these days. Sprucey. Here's your weenie wings, lower wings, as I said, very small. Lots and lots of parts here for the engines and the interior. You can see we've got the framework for the cockpit area and then most of the rest of this is dealing with the engine and there's a few bits of struts. Now, one point I do, I do like here, and I'll try and show you a little closer. Check out the recesses where the interplane struts fit. They're actually angled uh, into the wing the, the slot isn't just flat it's actually angled so that when you stick the struts in they'll just 
lock in there and, and sit at the correct angle without any further input from the modeler, which was absolutely great. Again, another part of biplane modeling, which puts up a lot of modelers off, is, is the alignment of the strut and the two sets of wings, which, and honestly, it can be a bit of a faff. But this kit looks like it's taken the sort of old school matchbox approach of making everything nice and chunky so it all plugs together well, taking a lot of the stress out of it for the modeler, which is what we want. The engine itself, the twin row, twin row radial, crikey, try saying that when you're drunk. So you have it, each bank of cylinders in two halves, there was a bunch of cylinder head rocker covers on the, on the sprue we looked at a second ago, and then you've got intake and exhaust parts, push rod tubes, etc. All looks like it's going to build up to a really decent representation without too much trouble. And the last one, the main, the main event, the big wing, the upper wing, and again with those really nice angled nice deep wing strut locations. Here you've got the upper nose front cowling, tower planes, uh, a little prop spinner and parts of the engine cowl along with the cockpit floor and main sort of bulkhead area there. Uh, and again the, the surface details just lovely. The, the last ICM kit I built as I said before was the 132 scale uh, I-16 um, type 24 and it was a really great build but what I noted about that kit at the time was although it's really really crisply moulded and, and actually a, a joy to work with a lot of the detail was really oversized and sort of heavy handed honestly this is this is completely the opposite the detail here is, is gloriously restrained, it's all in scale the wing textures for the, the fabric covering are just lovely, it's, it's there but it's not in your face, it's not overdone. We've not got a mass of rib tapes that are riveted on with nails that they've taken out of the Titanic. It's just nice, it's subtle, it's restrained, it's, it's ideal. And again, where we have got recessed panel line type detail, it's really crisp, thin and consistent as well. Tiny bit of damage there on that corner, but that's no biggie. The plastic itself is usually, and it is, it's quite flexible. It's uh, quite soft, quite easy to work with. And the obvious downside of that being if you're too heavy handed with your knife, you're going to take big chunks out of it. But yeah, there's your initial look at the parts. And I think, I think you'll agree, it does look rather splendid. I, um, as the instructions doing. As I say, I'll be going for the Luftwaffe uh, night attack aircraft, detailed here. The Na Nash slash Gruppe 9 <laughs> from Turin in April 1944. Imagine still flying one of these around in 1944. So it just looks such an interesting scheme. And I will... I all detailed the build and took a few videos out along the way. Um, probably not in real time as such, but uh, I don't. I don't think the build is going to take very, very, very long. Honestly, it's not a very complicated kit. It's not too much to worry about. The um, the most complicated part looks to be the engine, uh, but it looks like I'll be able to leave that off until after paint anyway, because it's all self-contained thus there is nothing uh in the way of ignition wire detail or anything like that but that should be very easy to add for those that wish to and i'll look into that i'll, I'll do some research find some photos of a real one and i'll, I'll let you know on that as, as i go along uh, and of course for those that are very, very excited about extra detail, I'm sure Edward will have some brass out for sale. If not already, then very soon. So there you go. Very quick video, only a short one. As I say, this is going to be my holiday build um, starting next week. 
when I am actually on holiday for Christmas. Uh, I'm off for two weeks, so that should be ample time to get this done. There's a nice little finishing out the year build, just something just for me, for no good reason other than I think it's a great paint scheme. So there you go. Thanks again. Very big thank you to Vince at Models for Sale for sending this over quickly for me, as always. Um, and that's it for now. So until next time, look after yourselves. Have a great week, and I'll speak to you soon. Genesis out.